Whew, okay, everyone, welcome back, Super Soka. Man, it has been a long time since I think we've had an actual play session on Super the Priest. So, uh, Kronos, ha long story short, if you didn't see my last episode, Kronos had a bunch of DDoSing going on. The server was basically unplayable or down for about two weeks. They brought it back up. Unfortunately, the latency for me was so high. I had like a one or two second delay at least. I wasn't really having fun playing with it, uh, so I didn't play my Priest. I tried one episode last episode, tried to play little. It was just too laggy couldn't really do anything. Uh, now, the servers have been slowly improving over time, and I'm getting pretty much no lag. Uh, my latency is under 200 MS, which is perfect for me, and they're still going to do a hardware upgrade in the next week or so, which will further improve things apparently, but for now it's totally playable. I'm psyched. Like, it's been way too long. Uh, so we're in Stormwind right now. Let's get going. And we first of all, we have a quest to turn in a uh, messenger, uh, messenger to Stormwind. We're going to talk to General Marcus Jonathan. I'm going to complete this quest, turn it in, easy, and then take General Marcus Jonathan's letter of response to Magistrate Solomon in Lakeshire. Okay, so we're going to head back to Lakeshire in a little bit, but first we also have a messenger to, uh, let's see, Darkshire, we have to go to, wait, it's on, let's see, do we get this one, return to, okay, take it to Lakeshire, and take this one to Lakeshire, okay, so we already did all the messaging quests there. We do still have to go to Goldshire, though. Let's go run down there and do that. Where's my heart set? It's been so long, I, like, barely can remember what we've been doing. So we need to go to Goldshire. Let's run down there, and we'll just fast-forward the video for this run. Uh, Lakeshire, or not Lakeshire, sorry. Goldshire, by the way. Uh, let me show you where it is. So we're in Stormwind right now. If you exit Stormwind and go out into Elwyn Forest, just uh, south of Stormwind, uh, Goldshire is down here, this little town all by itself. And there's no flight path there, so we're just going to run there, and I'll fast forward the video uh, so we can get there a little bit quicker. Just going to change the mini-map there, the world map there, it looks a little bit nicer, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've arrived in Lakeshire. Uh, I keep saying Lakeshire, Goldshire, we've arrived in Goldshire. we got to talk to this little blacksmith guy over here, he's got a little wrench in hand, ready to go. Smith Argus, the price of shoes, this strange his name for request, by the way, so we're going to... Do this, and uh, so Old Runner needs some shoes, does he? Yep, complete quest. Return to Brunner Osgood and Redridge, give him the Crate of horse Horseshoes. Yep. So where are we at here? Uh, where are the Crate of Horseshoes? Crate of Horseshoes. Cool. We can... There's a note attached to the crate. Let's click this. Uh, a note is attached to the crate. It reads, Werner, sorry to hear Redridge. Hold on a sec. We're going to read this just a moment. What's Elmore's task? Um, okay. This guy's in there, so... We're going to head back to Stormwind anyway, because that guy's there. So I want to read the note while we're heading there. I'm also going to... Uh, I think they're generally beneficial to society, but certainly have some issues with a few of their... Uh, what is it? I don't know what the word is. Uh, protocol, I guess. But what I'm doing is using is not related to GMOs in terms of food production, but instead just non-edible chemicals, like making renewable plastic from grass. Someone was asking about what my PhD research is about, and uh, I personally, I don't hate Monsanto. I don't want to get into a big story. I don't hate them. I think there's some things they've done wrong, especially their communications, very bad. I think their PR department is terrible. Um, and they've definitely made some mistakes along the way, but I don't think of them as an entirely evil corporation with no benefit to society. I think they have done some good things. Um, but I understand people have a lot of concerns about GMOs and foods and many things related to that. And uh, what I just want to say is like what my research was about, I do have GMOs. I've made genetically modified organisms, but they're only for the purpose of producing fuels or chemicals uh, in a renewable fashion that doesn't have anything to do with anything you would eat. So nothing, none of my research is going into something you might eat. So if you're someone that is against GMOs, what I'm studying has nothing to do with that. Um, yeah, I think their PR department is also crappy. Um, but anyway, so someone was asking about that. What I want to do real quick though is read this note on the creative horseshoe. So Werner, sorry to hear Red Ridge is having such trouble. Here are the shoes you need. Please pay me 100 silver at your earliest convenience. That's interesting. 100 silver is the same thing as 1 gold, right? So it's interesting. Uh, for some reason, they don't just say that. Now buff me, please. Who just asked for buffs? Air Airlines? Uh, got you, bro. 
Uh, and then, or if you like, you can pay me an underbelly skills from Black Rock Dragon Whelps. I hear Dragon Whelps are common in the Red Ridge Mountains. Because we're friends, four skills will be enough. Thanks. Argus, cool. Thanks. Interesting. So I wanted to run over here to the Dwarven District up here and go turn in uh, the quest for, what is that quest we just grabbed? Uh, Elmore, something Elmore. Forget the name of it. We're going to run around and do that quest real quick. And then what we need to do is we need to go back to Red Ridge. And we also need to check our mail and go through a few other things. I'm also, I want to uh, do some, just kind of some housekeeping. And uh, what, whoops, not, oh yeah, tracking is on. Okay, so what I want to do is enchanting. We have lots of materials. I want to just max out my enchanting. I'm just going to re-enchant my own bracer a bunch. Um, which I think I can do that. I haven't tried that yet. Someone told me you can do that. We're going to test that out. And I'm just going to fast forward the video for that part also, because I just want to get that skilled up, uh, and I think it's really boring just watching me click Enchant Bracer 29 times. But once we max that out, we'll get 75 enchanting. We're going to go train to get up to the 150, which is like a apprentice or a journeyman enchanting, I think is what it is. We'll get up to, we'll be able to max out a 150 skill, and we'll train some new enchanting uh, recipes, and hopefully we'll have some things we can do. I always see these, these stupid yellow dots always get me. Because uh, I'm so used to seeing yellow dots thinking of something really awesome, but they're all just food crates and things like that. I need to really just turn off tracking in cities, I think. So here's Elmore's task. We're going to complete the quest. Deliver the package for Stormpike to Mountaineer. What? Bro, where are you going? Bro, come on. Where are you going? Hold still. Okay. Stormpike delivery to the guy Stormpike in Loch Modan. Okay, that's Stormpike's delivery. Wait, so how many Dark Shore? So many Dark Shore quests. Uh, assessing the threat. I think we want to go back to Red Ridge and do a bunch of quests there. And Stormpike delivery. Okay, I guess we'll hold on to this for now. I don't even know if it's really worth going to Loch Madon for that, but we'll temporarily hold on to it. And okay, let's fast forward the video now. I'm going to uh, probably let's 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 test this out. Can I just enchant? Um, like minor health to bracer a bunch. I've already got plus five health. This actually give me a skill up. Let me just test this. If this works, then I'm just going to spam this a bunch. Okay, so we're going to speed up the video. Then I'm just going to uh, do a bunch of enchants. It's going to take a little while until we at least get this out of the... Until this turns yellow. And, uh, yeah, should be good to go. We can also do minor health chest, which I don't know if eight armors... I think eight armor is probably better. Anyway, let's speed things up. Okay, so, uh, I did a bunch of enchanting, you probably noticed a ton of stuff was, uh, changed. I got up to, like, 95 skill or so, really nice, and I kind of want to, I'm doing a little bit of bag cleaning at the moment, uh, some medium armor kits, uh, lots of armor kits, light armor kit, we can get rid of the light, we'll keep the medium, shrinky vulture meat we can get rid of, moonsucker fang we'll hold on to, clam meat, I have so much clam meat in the bank, it is kind of ridiculous, uh, these are all quest items. Tailoring bag, I'm going to hold on to that. Quest item. Uh, I think we can get rid of this. We'll keep that belt, keep that. What is this? This begins a quest? Did I already have this quest? Huh. I never actually did that quest. So that's someone in Stormwind. Where is that? Unsent letter. Delivered a letter to the city architect. Uh, city hall. Cathedral square. So we should just be up here somewhere. Got it. Okay. So I'm trying to move all my quest items down here. Okay. And then I got a bunch of stuff in the bank to deal with. Mostly this is stuff... Uh, I'll click on some of these things later and take a look at them. Most of this is disenchant stuff, some extra potions. And... Oh, ooh, that is a sick upgrade. Uh, okay, we're going to get some new bags. Uh, this guy actually, Emmanuel, I don't know who he is. He didn't put any notes. Thanks a ton. These bags are awesome. He didn't mention anything in any of his letters but he also sent a bunch of really awesome gear to my warrior like my gear my warrior has like seven blue items now he's like level 30 he has like seven blue items uh, i have like an actual tanking set which is incredible um for a level 30 character so that's pretty sweet he sent me like a nice two-handed polearm all good stuff we're gonna go up here though and talk to uh what's that guy's name uh the city architect i think we got this unsent letter from 
But where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Oh yeah, now we're going the right way. From Edwin Van Cleef when we went into the dead mines. So it's a nice quest chain if I remember right. Uh, we gotta move all this stupid bag stuff around though. And actually, is there a vendor near here? I want to vendor a few of these things that I'm not gonna use. Pretty much all this stuff down here I want to vendor. Uh, so we'll find someone, we'll vendor it, and then we'll start moving our bags around. We've got so much stuff in our bags. And we really need to get rid of some of these potions too. I've got a few more I sent over from my warrior that I really don't need that many. Um, I'm really slow at using potions. Like I, I don't think about them when I'm using them a lot, so it tends to be a problem. I'm going to get rid of that ice-cold milk down there, too. We're going to move this healing thing up here. And, okay, we're almost at our guy. He's over here to the side, it looks like. Yep, Barris Alex... Barris? Barris Alexton? Yeah. Oh, looking for one more. The stockades need healer. I think I'm a little low for that. I need to get, like, another level or two, and then we can run the stockades. Stockades is a really short instance. I, I like it. It's pretty quick. Uh, which is fun. Okay, unsent letter, continue. I don't van click you say, I would so much click a letter from my dead grandmother. So you've killed him, yep. Complete quest. Speak with Warden Thelwater in the stockade. Okay, I have oh what's the other quest? Go to Barris Alexon's house in Westfall and search for his compass. Uh I don't know if we're gonna go back to Westfall, so I don't know if I want to deal with that quest. Um Whoops. So let's go talk to the guy by the stockades and Actually, if I remember right, this is a really long quest line, right? So you have to run the dead mines, kill Edwins, you have to clear the dead mines, run that, grab the letter, turn it into that Barris guy over there we just spoke to, and then um, once you talk to him, he gives you this quest to talk to a guy at the stockades. Then, if you full clear the stockades, I think it's the last boss in, in the stockades. Um, what's that guy's name? I don't remember his name. Uh, let's see, Basil. Oh yeah, it is Basil Thread. I'm pretty sure it's Basil Thread. So... If you go all the way there and complete the stockades, then you get um, this quest. This quest you turn in, you do the next quest, killing Basil Thread. You get his head, you turn it back in. I think to uh, the guy we just spoke to, you end up getting a really nice quest reward, if I remember right. So we're going to turn this in now, even though we're not going to do the stockades. So we're going to go ahead and turn it in anyway, just to get it out of the way, get out of our quest log, and make sure we have the stockades quest ready. And we won't pick it up, we'll just leave it at the stockades entrance, because we're not going to go into the stockades and forget about it. It's right there. Uh, but yeah, let's run in here. Now, who is this guy? Knuckle... This guy is broke. Sure, I will donate 11 silver to him. Uh, what's his name? Knuckle... Sure, where... Where are you? Okay, we're gonna turn on this quest. Warden Thelwater. Okay. What in the light do you want? Can't you see we have a crisis here? Bezel Thread, why would you want to speak with that? Uh, with that bastard, wow. Um, invite. Let's get an invite and then we'll do that. Okay, complete quest. Kill Bezel Thread and bring his head back to Warden Thelwater at the stockade. I just want to see if the rewards are shown here. Uh, nope, just 25 silver apparently. We're going to abandon the quest because we'll just grab it later. It's easy enough. And where is this guy at? Okay. We're going to go give this guy 11 silver, and then we're going to vendor the stuff in the bottom of our bags here, and I think we will head to Red Ridge, finally. We're finally going to get back to Questing. It's been way too long. I'm really excited about it. Elixir of Wisdoms also. Man, we got to start using these potions. we got a lot of stuff in our bags. Uh, where is this guy at? He should be right there. Okay. Sure. I've been given uh, quite a lot of stuff from people, so I feel like a... Whoops. Hold on. Uh... I'm gonna do three zero thirty. Got it. Yep. Good luck. Uh, yep. Anyway, I feel like if people have been so nice to me, send me a bunch of stuff. The least I can do is uh, help out some lobby who, let's be honest, there's a good chance that guy will quit and never play again, and that'll be wasted money. But I'm okay. Um. Alchemy. This is the lay I got from a quest recently. Someone gave me this as an offhand, but I don't think I'm going to use it for a long time. And all this clam meat stuff, I I saved a bunch of this, but I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. So I just want to clear up some space. I want to get rid of one set of these minor mana potions. And, okay. Let's swap our bags around. Uh, let's swap this bag around. And then where is this one located? Okay. Let's move it all down here. I really hate the bag system in Vanilla WoW. It's like the only thing I would actually really like to change vanilla well is so that you can just swap bags even if there's something in your bag. Like I feel like you shouldn't have to empty your bags to actually use things. And 
Do we have armor on everything? Legs, hands, feet, chest. Hands, legs, feet, and chest. We have five mana, which is probably fine. I, I don't think it's worth messing with. Okay, we still got our cat figurine, which we found in Darkshore. We're going to keep that forever. And now we've got extra bags, which, uh, let's hold on to those. I want to send them to my bank out, because I need more bags on that guy. Um, but this will actually pretty much fill me in just fine. Alright, we're going to fast forward the video from here, and we're going to, uh, pick it back up in Red Ridge, so we'll be, uh, hopefully ready to go questing very, very soon. Okay, here we are in Red Ridge. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn in all these quests. We have a bunch of these delivery quests we're working on. And we're finally going to turn them all in. We have uh, Messenger to Starkshire, Return to Werner, and Messenger to Stormwind, M Messenger to Westfall. So actually... Yeah, and I think Magistrate Solomon... Yeah, I don't know exactly where all those... I think we have more things to turn in than there are quests here. But So we have uh, Package to Stormpike, that's... In Lock Madon, here's Werner. We're gonna talk, start with this guy. Werner Osgood, crate of horseshoes. Thank you, this really helps, but what's this? Argus sent a note with crate, what? Argus wants me to pay him? Well, super, thank you for your help. Okay, uh, what's this? Underbelly scales. Uh, okay, gather six underbelly scale. Whoops, that's funny because he was talking about underbelly scales in the uh, note to Werner, so there's that. And a bang of gnolls, we'll grab this. We're just gonna stock up on all the Red Ridge quests, which are almost maxed out. And we might decide if we're going to drop these Dark Shore quests or not. I'm not sure just yet. And then we have to go inside here and talk to, uh, what's this guy's name? Messen or the what, Messenger to Westfall quests, at least. Uh, I think. Okay. Magistrate Solomon. Here we go. Let's dump all these quests. Okay. Uh, thank you for your time. Done. 250 experience. 1 silver, 50 copper. Okay. 250 experience, 1 silver, 50 copper. Complete quest. All done. That was pretty much it. Oh, 350 silver for that one to go to Darkshire. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. And then what's this last thing? Letter to Delgren. What is this for? Oh, this is the Tower of Athalax quest, which is related to... One... This one. Deliver Bethul's letter to Delgren. Yep. Okay. Darkshire quest. Got it. Cool. Well, we've made uh, quite a lot of space in our bags now. We've got tons of bag space, way more than the average character would have this level because I've gotten uh, quite a lot of hookups, and it's been really helpful. So, now, quest time. Where are we going to go? Uh, let's close these. Dry time. We're not going to work on that quest. That's just a fetch quest. I don't feel like dealing with that. Uh, Red Ridge Mongol, Mongrel and Red Ridge po uh, Poachers are, I believe, just up here, right? Iron Pikes, Chris Spider Me, Gortusk. Let's see, Mongol, mongrels and all these, yeah, they're just up here, mystics, I also need to call them mystics, okay, mystics, 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 a bang of gnolls is that quest, fruits, mystics, we have so, so many poachers are down here, okay, well, let's head up this way and just start clearing whatever, um, let's buff up, let's get, what else do we need? Uh, inner fire. It's been a while. I'm out of practice playing this priest because we last video we barely got started on any questing, uh, just because it was such a, it's just so laggy. It just wasn't great. We tried to kill these orcs over here uh, for these battle worn axes, and we got destroyed by one where I was just like couldn't cast any spell whatsoever, which was really kind of frustrating. Is this guy gonna be okay? Yeah, he's okay. Oh, whoops! I didn't want to do that. Let's uh, just focus on this guy. He resists. Okay. Um, so, I mean, like, if you look at this, the lag seems much better to me here. Um, I, like, there's not really any delay that I notice. Things are working well. Uh, these guys are kind of hard to kill, which is a little annoying. Uh, and I actually, I'm trying to think of my rotation. Normally, I just wand, shadow word pain, heal myself. Maybe open with a Mind Blast would be more fun. Open with a Mind Blast, then Shadow Word Pain. And we're almost level 20. We're going to get that by the end of this video. And that'll help a lot. Once we're level 20, uh, we will uh, start... We'll, we'll get our level 20 skills. And we're going to work on our level 20 Priest quest, which I actually don't even know what that is. Uh, someone was just saying in Guild Chat that it might be uh, Fear Ward? I mean, it's like your, your race specific... Oh, crap. That's not good. Um, we're gonna get aggro from those? Yeah, we are. Crap. Run. 
Shield. I'm uh, running into the Knoll farm. That's not good. Okay. Whew, we got away from him. Good. However, uh, we do want to loot this. So how are we going to do that? I need to put the other heals on my bar. I really have just like my highest rank of all my heals, which is fine, but inefficient. Oh, well, that guy's back. So I guess we're going to go ahead and kill this one now. Let's start with the Mind Blast. Okay, Mind Blast. Yeah, that's okay. Then we'll wand him. So, uh, yeah, the plan is to kill those two guys. I might just run in there, Psychic Scream, loot, and then DPS down one and run from the other one. Blackrock Grunts. Outrunners seem harder to kill than Grunts, right? Uh, yeah, so let's do this. Let's, uh, we got Spirit Tap going. Great. Let's open with a Mind Blast. One of these. Uh, these. Oh, we got a third one. That's not good. Let's back up. We should be able to de-aggro those other two. Yep, perfect. Okay, that's what we're hoping for. I'm going to make sure I don't aggro a mongrel. Or is it a mongrel? A Red Ridge Mystic. I don't want to aggro that onto us so we can help it. So here's one interesting thing. The leashing on Kronos is how I kind of remember leashing being in Vanilla WoW and how it also was on Nostalrius. Ooh, let's uh, scroll of intellect. However, on uh, Kronos, or on the Rebirth, leashing is messed up. Leashing is like insane on the Rebirth, where mobs will leash like never. Like So here's how it works. Actually, if a mob hits you at any point when you're running away from them, Aggro is fully uh, reset. Like, in, as you run away from a mob normally in WoW, uh, the farther you get from their spawn point, they will be increasingly likely to turn around and run back to their spawn point. However, um, you, there's ways to pull them farther and farther. If you attack a mob, you add aggro to the aggro stack. I don't know exactly what the term is. And that will cause the mobs to chase you farther away from their aggro point if you just keep damaging them and keep attacking them. Uh, I think they eventually changed that in retail WoW where there's a limit no matter how far you damage a mob where they will just stop chasing you no matter what. But in vanilla, you could pull a mob forever. You could people there's videos on YouTube of people pulling Kazek level 60 world raid boss all the way into Stormwind. Like there's all sorts of funny videos like that. It's really cool. I like that mechanic personally. I think it's interesting. Um but uh they eventually nerfed it. I don't know if Kronos is quite like that. I think on Kronos you can only pull mobs so far before it'll leash no matter what. But as you saw here, you know, we damaged a mob, ran away, and the mob we damaged pulled a little bit farther than his two buddies that we didn't damage. And that's how it should work. The rebirth doesn't work like that. If a mob hits you at all, if you're running away and you get dazed, for example, then you will be, um, you will re-aggro that mob. And it basically, mobs will chase you forever on the Rebirth, literally forever, no matter what, if they keep damaging you. And in many cases, as you know, you can't outrun mobs, so it's very easy for them to chase you forever. And it's horrific. Like, if you're a slow class and you don't have some speed boost ability, then you're doomed. If you are in a fight over your head, there's no way for you to ever uh, escape from those mobs. Now let's go ahead and toss a powered fort on this guy. So, anyway, the Rebirth is leashing is busted. It's crap and I, I like the rebirth I had a lot of fun on the rebirth and I'll still play on the rebirth from time to time but that leashing was annoying however I had the good fortune of playing a shaman so I could go into spirit wolf form and that gives you a 40% speed boost so I could always outrun any mob so leashing didn't particularly ruin my life if I had been a rogue or a warrior it would have been like game over every time I out aggroed like aggroed two mobs like it just would have been completely uh horrific so I, I was fortunate that I happened to, I found that out after I picked my character. So I was lucky that I happened to pick a class that was able to run away without a problem. Uh, yeah, these mongrels, these things died, that mystic died so much easier than those grunts. Those Blackrock Outrunners are kind of rough, actually. Uh, I don't know if it was just they're specifically tougher, or it's because they're a little higher level than me, but they were a little difficult to deal with. So maybe we'll just focus on these grunts, these Red Ridge things, until we hit uh, level 20. Then we'll go get our skills and come back and wreck those ogres, orcs a little bit easier. Uh, so what else is going on? Oh, um, I changed guilds. So this has happened recently. I was in a guild on Kronos called the Kronos 1. I play on Kronos 1, by the way. I don't always mention that. Uh, when I started playing, there was no Kronos 2, so I didn't have to specify. But I'm on Kronos 1, and I was, I'm obviously Alliance side, and I was playing with a guild 
called The Hive, and I really liked The Hive. They were a really nice group of people. It was kind of a leveling guild. People were just, like, working together to level up. We were eventually going to raid if we got high enough. However, uh, slash who guild dash the Hive. Let's see how many people are... Uh, yeah, there's one person in The Hive online right now, and there was that's how it's basically been since the servers came back from the DDoS. It's basically been dead. It's really sad because I really like the guild. And if you're watching the video and you're in The Hive, um... Hit me up in game. We'll find a new guild together. And actually, we did. I did find a guild. I should say, Art of War is what I'm in. It's a pretty quiet guild, as you can tell from the chat. Like the people aren't talking a lot. Uh, but overall, they're nice people. When we do have some conversations going, I've had fun talking to them. Uh, and it's a, you know just like a leveling guild, nothing fancy. But I like everyone so far. People are pretty chill, um, which is really all I look for in a guild. I just want people that are not psychotic and not overly childish. You know, I, I'm totally good with actually. One of my favorite, I, I, I have like a really crude sense of humor, I don't really portray that in our my YouTube videos, because I try and keep these more PG, but I do like fart jokes, like that level of humor is funny to me, um, so I'm totally good with like childish behavior and things like that, no problem at all, but you know, when it starts getting into like uh, excessively racist jokes or things like that, I don't really like that as much, especially when I'm uh, recording, because I really don't want my YouTube channel to turn into some sort of hate speech YouTube channel or something. So, anyway, uh, this guild, they're pretty chill, they're kind of funny, I like them. Uh, how, I just wish, I, I missed the Hive, I thought it was a really nice guild, but it just, there were times I would log in, and there'd be no one on but me. I would play for about 30 minutes, no one was logged in, no one logged in that entire time. I logged off, would come back 6-7 hours later, and I would check the guild list, and no one else had logged in in that time span. So it got to a point where I decided it was time to leave the guild, and I joined the Art of War because I basically found them in World Chat, and they seemed nice. So that's the story of how I went from the Hive to Art of War. Decent guild. Uh, I recommend them. If you guys are looking for a guild, feel free to join up with us. Um, we're just leveling up. We're not doing anything fancy right now. We've done, I think they did like a world PvP thing the other day. Oh, we got a schematic small Sephorium charge. Blessed open lock doors. Locked doors. Cool. I like blowing up doors, and we're getting our iron rivets and iron pikes. We need this for the Everstill Bridge quest, and I think this quest actually, the story behind it is, during the latest orc invasion, we were forced to smelt our iron down to make bullets, swords, and armor, and uh, they're coming on short of supplies to build their bridge, or to maintain their bridge. So basically now they uh, need some supplies, so we're going to kill, we're going to steal the supplies from the Red Ridge Knolls, because that's what the people in World of Warcraft do. Uh, so that's fun. So we're basically killing native people to steal their minerals. That uh, sounds modestly familiar to some American history, uh, North American, United States history specifically. Uh, let's back up a little bit. We're going to pull this guy back. I don't want to aggro that other camp. We can actually probably kill all three of these if we needed to. Um, but I'd rather back up a bit. We do need to kill these whelps and these condors. So we might just go ahead and kill those two real quick. But we are closing in. On level 20. You can see that little bar down there, little experience bar. It's like the best feeling in WoW when you see that thing filling up. And we didn't aggro anything extra there. Okay, let's see. What do we have? A brute and a brute. Let's go for the double brute whammy here. We're going to try and kill them both. We're going to dot them both up. We're going to wand this down. We're going to use our Q. I got to set the Q as Psychic Scream, 30 second cooldown. Let's see how that works. Resist. Well, that's kind of lame. We're gonna mind blast that one in the distance. Shield up. Put another dot on him. Make sure he's dotted. Redot this one's about to end. He resisted that also. That guy is a resist machine. Man. Okay, whatever. We got spirit tap going. If I haven't shown you, it's been a while. So spirit tap increased. Spirit increased by 100% and allows 50% of mana regeneration while casting. So this is a talent we spec into. Shadow spec. Uh, it's actually one of our few talents. Oh yeah, wand spec. It's everything we spec into. Oh yeah. That's the other thing, we have to decide what we're going to spec into now. We're going to go Shadow, by the way. I've already decided that. But I need to decide what to spec into in Shadow. Um, I think Shadow Focus might be nice, but increasing Shadow Word Pain duration seems good. Because we're using Shadow Word Pain a lot, obviously. Uh, like, a lot, a lot. We're using it pretty much every fight. So if we increase the duration, I think that might also be worthwhile. Uh, what other stuff do we have in our toolbar? Man, we have Dispel Magic. Never use that. Resurrection, I've used that in the Dead Mines. Did we use that? I think we did. I don't remember. Some people died for sure. We definitely resed some people. As long as we didn't. I can't remember if we wiped though when we did that. Anyway, 
We're going to kill this condor. We need these uh, other parts. And actually, this quest is hard to complete. This is Red Ridge Goulash. It's over here on the right. You can see we need Gore Tusk Snout, Condor Meat, Crisp Spider Meat. And am I understanding, at least as I remember this, the drop rate is pretty low for these things. So we may not complete that quest. We're going to see if we're able to. Uh, we did get our underbelly scale. Good. Uh, I saw another whelp in the distance, but I want to focus on these Red Ridge mystics and such we need to kill three more mystics we can probably wet wrap these up real quick and i said wap wap these up like fetty wap fetty wap fetty wap damn i am like butchering names today or words today uh, but these guys are going well at least let's go ahead and dot this one up while we're here and i finish wanting this one down when you accidentally turn off your wand you don't realize you've turned it off that always stinks uh, let's go ahead and shadow word uh powered shield ourselves back up and I'm, I'm excited to hit 20 I'm really excited to hit 20 because uh, I just definitely want to start the level 20 quest for priests and I don't like I said I don't know exactly what that quest will entail we're gonna find out soon scroll of stamina what happens if I cast some myself out so this is uh, increases stamina by four I don't think it'll make any difference we already have eight I don't think it stacks let's see we have 527 health yeah a more powerful spell is already active. Okay, so it literally cannot even be cast on ourselves, which is what I was expecting. Well, I actually, I thought we could cast it. I just didn't think it would do anything, but that's okay. Um, the other thing I noticed on Kronos compared to Nostalrius is that fear breaks really easily. Let me show you when I fear this guy. Like, I'm convinced this guy's gonna, yeah, fear broke as soon as Shadow or Pain ticked. Um, and Nostalrius is maybe a little overpowered, but I, I think it was not breaking fast enough but it breaks too quickly on chronos it really i feel like a tick from shadow word pain should keep going a little bit more uh yeah than it is on now thanks for watching by the way okay how many more brutes do we need two more brutes and two more mystics that's definitely finished up we did get all of our iron pikes and our rivets i don't know if there's more of these brutes up here we're gonna find out let's rebuff Powered fort while we're up here. Let's toss a. Oh, didn't mean a stone form. Let's toss a renew on ourselves. I was trying to do. All right, there's another mystic. Perfect. Uh, mystic Red Ridge Basher. Though we don't need that. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull these back. Should be able to get this guy. There is a little bit of delay still. So I will say, Kronos is much better. Much much better. Like it's clearly this is playable. Like I, I'm perfectly happy with this uh, latency, with this connection. Everything's pretty good. Not perfect. But much, much better. And all we need now is... They're going to get some new hardware, apparently. That's going to make it pretty much perfect, I think. Once the new hardware comes out. Okay, there's another Mystic there. Can we loot this out, aggroing? Yeah, we can. Okay, there's a Copper Vein. Doesn't matter to us. What else do we need? One more Brute. One more Mystic. Okay, there's our Mystic. We're just going to poke this guy. And dot him. And we're going to run. We're going to Powered Shield. And we don't want to aggro all those and fight them all. We, we could probably take them all, to be honest. I'm pretty confident we could. But we don't need to. We don't need the Brutes at all. Uh, the Bashers. They are not Brutes. We need Brutes, not Bashers. So we're just going to leave those be. And we're going to wand this. Hopefully this kills him. Okay. Now we're going to loot this and run before these guys all aggro on us. Good. And then we need one more Brute. And I think... What do we have experience-wise? Um... Uh, 20,200, we need 1,100 experience, and we're getting about 250 per kill. So one more kill, plus a turning in these quests will easily get us level 20. However, this guy seems to be farming up our mobs. Uh, that's okay, we will chill out. And we're going to kill those whelps that were over here while we wait. Because we need the whelp anyway. He's kind of hanging in the corner here, so we're going to grab him. I think we're getting a little bit of lag there, but it's not... Oh, nice crit, though. Nice crit. Happy with that. Uh, but yeah, the lag overall is not so bad. It's not great. And I've heard... Of, I actually had a friend come from Nostalrius over... He hadn't played since Nostalrius crashed. Came here, and he said it was just atrocious. He could not play. I actually sent him, like, one gold, or 50 silver... And he sent it back like within a few hours and said he's just too laggy, he couldn't play here. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, and for me, I'm located in the central United States. So 
Uh, I had a really bad lag for a while. I mean, it was like, like I said, at least a one second, if not two second delay on everything. I it was basically unplayable. Like I could not play it uh, and have any fun anyway. Uh, but I heard people in Europe were like many European countries. Uh, people were playing and they said they had like no lag problems. It was great for them. Uh, my guess is because the servers, I think they were located in the Czech Republic and then they moved to Russia. And Russia is obviously a very large country. Uh, who knows where in Russia they're hosted at, but I could see many places in Russia that are very, very far away from the central United States. And I'm not that the Czech Republic isn't also pretty far away, but that's my guess that it's just the, the physical distance was so far away. Maybe the servers aren't quite as good and as the original ones, and that was what was causing the problem. Uh, we just need one more brute. That's why I'm kind of roaming around here. Um, I thought they would respawn at that camp a little faster, but I haven't seen them yet. Uh, however, uh, so what I was saying is uh, latency lag problems were seemed fine for people in Europe generally. Although I heard there are specific countries. I don't know what countries. I just heard this from someone in Guild Chat. And he was saying or she was saying that there are literally countries where... Okay, none of these things are what we need. Come on, we just need a brute. Where no one can connect from that country. There's like, for whatever reason, the country is unable to connect to the Russian servers. I have no idea why uh, that would be or what's causing that. Um, but things are improving. That's all I can say. It's certainly gotten better and better over time, uh, at least for me in the U.S. And I think about a week from today, boy, this respawn rate is like busted here. But I, I think about a week from today, uh, they will have new hardware is what they're telling us, which will be even better than what they're running right now. So that's nice. So I'm expecting things will get even better very soon. But I'm just happy that I'm playing right now and not having a lag fest. Uh, okay, so we just need a brute. I feel like the respawn is broken over here. Like, why are these things not respawning at all yet? Usually respawns are f fairly quick on this server. I wouldn't say t faster than they should be, but they certainly don't feel slow. And this feels really slow right now. Um, I want to just get this last kill, because it's the last one we need. But... Right? Like, where is everything out here? Oh, there we go, there we go. Brute. Go, get him. Okay, we got him tagged. This will be our last. We might... We're not gonna level up from this. We're close to leveling up from this, though. Um, this guy's resisting a few things, but almost got him. And then we're gonna go turn our quest. We'll hit 20 very easily. We'll go train our new skills, and we'll figure out where the priest quest is... We probably will do that in next video. I think that's the plan. Oh, I'll add uh, one other thing. I'm anticipating that we're going to get a lot more priest leveling videos up. Like, I'm really excited to get it up and running soon. And, uh, like, I'm really excited that servers are back up and running and things are working well for me. So I'm planning on getting one of these videos up, like, every day, uh, five times a week for like the next couple weeks if possible. Like I really feel like I'm so far behind on this leveling series from where I wanted to be at this point. Just because the servers were down for like three, four weeks I almost couldn't play. So I lost almost a month of play time for this character and I was kind of anxious to get back to it. So I'm hoping to speed this up a lot and get videos out uh, much more quickly. So we're going to turn in the Everstill Bridge quest. That's the rivets that we're picking up. What are they? The rivets and pikes. And as a reward, we can choose, uh, we want 9 healing or 3 agility, 3 intellect. Agility's worthless, 3 intellect's nice, but I like, kind of like the plus 9 healing a lot. So I think we're just going to grab the mail gloves and we'll just vendor those. Ding! Level 20, okay. So we have to take, take our new talent, and Shadow Affinity reduces the threat generated by Shadow Spells. That means nothing for when we're solo leveling, right? If we're leveling, we're going to have all the aggro anyway. Skip that. I would get Blackout. Gives your Shadow Damage spells a 2% chance to stun the target for 3 seconds. That seems really cool, actually. Um, it would get that up to 10%, which would be awesome. Uh, reduce your target chance to resist your Shadow spells by 2%. That seems good. I'm... I mean, I don't know. I almost want to get Blackout. Is that right? Uh, chance to stun. Reduce chance to resist spells. That seems really good. These both seem great. Shadow Word Pain improved to have like an extra 3 second or probably 5 or 6 second max duration. Seems nice for longer fights, but in some cases we're killing mobs too quickly to need that. Um, next level, I'm just trying to see Mind Flay. We're definitely going to use Mind Flay later on, I think. 
Let's do blackout. Let's go for it. Uh, I don't know if that's the right choice. We're gonna try it. It's like 8 a.m. here. Here, 8. I noticed a lot of people in the guild are from Europe and they have no idea how to tell what p.m. time means. Like we talk a.m. p.m. Uh, so that's kind of fun. Um, I, I don't blame them because they don't use, they use 12 hour time scales. I, we use a, a 24 hour time. We use 12 hour time in the US, which I know is bizarre compared to most people. Um, uh, but that's what we do. Okay. A bang of gnolls. Yes. Is there something I can do for you? Complete. Thank you for your help, Supa. Complete. Okay. Supa, the gnolls are still out there. I can hear their bang. Okay. Bring Yowler's paw. We'll get a ring. Four stamina and two spirit. We don't have any rings yet. So that's awesome. Howling in the hills. That might be a tough quest for us. Level... So it's not elite. We could probably solo that quest, but let's go. We're going to head to Stormwind now and speed up the video once more. Actually, there's a quest here to grab. Let's grab this quest. I don't know if that was level 20 quest or what the deal is, but I didn't notice it before. Uh, current quests, available quests, Murloc poachers, bring eight Murloc fins. Okay. Uh, well, we'll grab that quest too. And we're, we have 16 or 20 quests in our quest logs. We have space. Um, I think there's another quest over here, maybe. Let's go take a look. And then we'll fly to Stormwind. We're going to grab our new skills. And we're going to try to locate the priest quest. And I might... I don't think we're going to do the priest quest this video. I think we'll stop the video once we get our skill ups. But in the next video, I think we want to focus on getting the priest quest done. I really like getting the priest, the class quest done as soon as possible. They seem to be pretty beneficial. Uh, this quest, Blackrock Bounty, kill 15 Blackrock champions. Uh, those are up north. Uh, they're actually up here in this area. There's also an escort quest up here. So we might be able to do both those together. That's, that'd be ideal. Uh, but let's speed up the video while we head back to Stormwind. Short flight. Okay, so we're in Cathedral Square. Uh, we landed in Stormwind, ran up to Cathedral Square. It's in the north district of Stormwind. And... Huh, we have a quest here, speaking of fortitude. Okay, in Stormwind Keep, that's a quest. Uh, I think Stormwind Keep is on the east side, uh, yeah, over here. So, yeah, we'll head over there in a little bit, right? Let's see. Uh, what does this quest actually say there? Okay, so speak to the head librarian, easy enough. Uh, we're, we're heading to the Cathedral of Light. This is where we get priest quests. I think paladins get their quests here, or get their training here. Brother Sarno. Speak with Tinkmaster Overspark. Um, this is a quest for Nomergon, I think. Not sure about that. And here's a priest trainer back here. So let's talk to this one. And let's see what the quest is. A lack of fear. Okay, here we go. This is the quest I think we want. Speak to High Priest Rohan and Ironforge. Okay, so we're going to have to head to Ironforge. You have to head to your specific races trainer, I believe, to get your class quest of priest. So we have to head to... The Iron For Iron Forge, which is where dwarves would be at for dwarf priest. Um, however, we can still get our skills from here, so let's grab those. So we get a uh, new inner fire. Okay, so this one gives us 495 armor instead of 315. So that's uh, you know, about a 50% increase, roughly, a little more than that. And last 10 minutes or until 20 charges are used. So same duration. It's kind of unfortunate. I would like it to last a little longer, have more charges. Uh, Shackle undead. Shackles the target undead enemy for up to 30 seconds. The shackled unit is unable to move, attack, cast spells, any damage will break this, only one target at a time. That's super useful for, uh, like, strat home, undead strat. Flash heal. This is faster than lesser heal and heal. Heals for less, but, yeah, flash heal is nice, I think. We're going to definitely be using this at some point, uh, when we're grouping especially. Uh, holy fire rank 1. Consumes the enemy in holy fires that causes 78 to 98 uh, holy damage and an additional 30 holy damage over 30, 10 seconds. So it's a damage, direct damage plus a damage over time. That might be a better starter than our mind blast. A new rank of renew. Cool. Man, we're getting a lot of skills here. A new fade, which will train, but we don't really... I don't even have this on my skill bar. We never use this. And mind suit. This is actually really useful for sneaking around. Soothes the target, reducing the range at which it will attack you by 10 yards. Only affects humanoid targets level 40 or lower. That's cool though. So if like we're in um, Scarlet Monastery, you can soothe the mobs and maybe sneak by them a little bit easier. 
Uh, I know there's a higher level one, which I think is useful for Dire Maul when you're doing a tribute run. Really useful. So let's go ahead and put all of our stuff on our skill bars here. Uh, definitely, we're going to use a high rank of inner fire at all times. Um, what is it? I think I will... I don't know if I'm going to use holy fire particularly. Um, let's go ahead and put it on the toolbar though. And we got a new rank of renew, which I... I think I'll use that. I don't know. I, I know it's more mana efficient to use a downranked versions of spells in general, but I'm okay with being a little inefficient here. And then we also trained Flash Heal, which I think we might want that instead of our big heal. What's the mana cost on Flash Heal? 125? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of the biggest heal we have. Uh, which is just, I think, just heal, and use flash heal or lesser heal for the time being, at least. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. We're going to have to head to Ironforge next time. Our quest log is uh, packed. Or we're full of quests right now. And we did pick up Lack of Fear, right? Where is Priest, the Lack of Fear? Okay. This is what it is, Fear Ward. So, speak to the guy in Ironforge. That's literally it, and we get Fear Ward. 30 second cooldown, wards a friendly target against fear. The next fear effect used against a target will fail using up the ward. Last 10 minutes. That is amazing. That is incredible. Even for like high end rating, that's incredible. Because it's like, like a Nixia casts fear. Uh, you can just throw that on someone and w it, it's 10 minute cooldown. So you just cast it right away. As soon as you get into the fight, within 30 seconds, it's back up and fresh, ready to go. That's, um,. Now I see why people want Dwarf Priests in their raids. That's incredible. And that's a huge advantage the Alliance have over the Horde. And that's going to be nice when we're PvPing even. If we're against the Warlock, just pop that on ourselves. We'll resist their next fear. And uh, then we can hopefully win a fight against them. That'd be the best case situation. Um, you know, let's let's go ahead and get it. It's so easy to get that. We just have to fly over there to grab it. Let's just fly to Ironforge. We'll speed up the video, grab this, and um, then where's our heart set to? Sentinel Hill. Uh, I should have set it to Red Ridge. That's a mistake. I should have set it there. I might do that anyway. Where are we going? Red Ridge, Ironforge. Let's go to Ironforge. We'll just fly up there. Okay, we're going to speed it back up. Okay, so we've landed in Ironforge, and we need to find the Priest Trainer. And there's a little guard here, we're going to talk to him. I'm trying to wean off of Questy a little bit. Like, I really like the Questy add-on, but I sometimes feel like I use it as a crutch. And I'm trying to avoid that a little bit more. Okay, so it says it's in that direction. I would just follow the map from here, easy enough. And I think I even know where he's at, the Priest Trainer, or she... Uh, I think it's right by the Mage Trainer, uh, but yeah. Uh, let's head over there slowly. Uh, hmm. Busy, busy people in guild chat. Um, okay, almost there. Man, so I have, off topic, I have a Nexus 4 Android phone. It's like a 16 gigabyte phone. Um, I've had it for like three years. I bought it used for like $170 at the time. It's like a great price. But I've had it. It's my first It's my first smartphone I've ever had. I just kept it forever. It's been fine. Yesterday, um, the camera kind of broke. Like the front camera is now like this blurry mess. Looks like I smeared Vaseline on the lens. I tried cleaning it. I tried a few different things to fix it. Nothing to fix it, unfortunately. Uh, let me go back to the game here. A Lack of Fear is the name of this quest. And uh, you've got the makings of great priest super. Keep the good work. You've already shown you're ready for battle. Perhaps it's time we taught you, taught you a little something more. Fear word. Complete quest. That was the easiest quest of all time. We literally walked to the priest trainer, and got the skill. That was cool. Uh, so where is that? That's under holy. Okay, I want to check something. Uh, if we go to holy, do we have another fear ward here? I think we should have another rank, but maybe maybe just one rank. Which is fine. Okay, yeah, no other rank. Fear Ward, okay. Uh, let's put that on our toolbar somewhere. We'll put it as our F key for now. I don't know if I'll use that a lot. We'll toss it there. We'll find a use for it. Uh, there's a lot going on in guild chat. Anyway, 
So, uh, what was I saying? Basically, Nexus 4, my phone kind of busted, and that was a bit disappointing. I really use my camera a lot at work. I like to take photos of some notes I'm taking, and then I'll refer to those notes later. Uh, so I need a new camera, a new phone rather. So I'm looking at possibly getting a Nexus 6P. I found a refurbished one for like $350. Seems solid. Might pick that up. Uh, but for today, we're pretty much done with our quests, uh, questing for the day. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to go back to Red Ridge. We have a lot of good quests here we can work on. We've got our new skills level 20 stuff. Uh, so we should be doing a, even a little bit better against those stupid orcs that were a little slow to kill. And we have like a stack of quests here. Like you can see on the right side, we have so many quests here. Uh, we might go do some underbelly scales first. Kill some more mongrels and poachers, or more uh, gnolls. But we have a lot of stuff to work on, so I'm kind of excited for that. And we got to clean out our bags maybe next time too. But that's all for today. So I'm super excited to be back, guys uh, guys and gals. I appreciate you guys sticking with me, guys and gals, for sticking with me. And hopefully, we're going to get a lot more progress on this character very rapidly. And I'm, I'm really hoping to try and get like four or at least at least four, if not five videos up a week for the next few weeks. Try and catch us back up a little bit. So that's all for today. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.